conventions, something fans enjoy and happens often. We have them all across the United States and in other countries as well, and they're something well worth going to. If you've never been to a convention, it's time to try. I've been going to conventions since I was a child. My dad, he happened to be a guest at a lot of cons back in the 1980s because he makes foam rubber props and costumes and worked on a show called The Ghoul Show. So we would get to go to the conventions, hang out in the green rooms where the guests were and stuff. I didn't even know how lucky I was back then. We had our hotel rooms, entered the costume contest, and would run around the dealer's room. The dealer's room was my favorite place when I was a child. Then, in the 1990s, I learned about comic book conventions. And the first one I went to was Mid-Ohio Comic Con 1996, where I met up with one of my internet friends. And she showed me around there. It seemed a lot like the sci-fi cons, where the dealer room was fantastic, there was panels, but it wasn't the same as a sci-fi con in a few aspects. Mainly the costume contest was a lot different and a lot smaller. And in 2003, I went to my first anime convention. This happens to be my favorite type of conventions after all the conventions I've been through. Because the panels are a lot, are very interesting. There's the video rooms, there's the costume contest. Everything that I want in a convention is usually found inside an anime con. I have a lot more fun, a lot more relaxing there. They also are the one area that gives usually free autographs. When you go to sci-fi cons or comic book conventions, you're being asked to pay 20 or more per an autograph from the star that you traveled out to see. Which is hard, because you're a fan, you're coming up with money as hard as you can, and then you get in there, you paid for the convention, you paid for a hotel, you paid your travel expenses, you paid for food, maybe you paid to help a friend get in, you're already strapped for cash. And then, you get to over to where the star you want to see. And they're sitting there with a little sign saying $20 for an autograph, 15 on your own item, and $10 or $15 to get a picture taken with that actor. So conventions can be costly. I highly recommend saving up for them if you plan to do a sci-fi or a comic con. Some of the highlights of conventions in my life go to TurtleCon 1992. My very first time meeting Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. Mid-Ohio Con 1996, when I got to meet one of my internet friends for the very first time and Motor City Comic Con 1997 when I got to start going to a local convention. I have not missed one Motor City Comic Con since that day. And then there is Turtle Con 2000 which was actually a booth at Motor City Comic Con where about 50 Turtle fans showed up to be able to hang out. There will be a blog about it because you'll get to see Toka dressed up as Bebop. Trust me it's worth seeing. Then uh, 2003, I went to Anime Next in New Jersey. That was my first anime convention. I got to meet Mike Center Nicholas and Wayne Grayson. I, I'll go to any convention they're at because they put on a great panel. They're fantastic to talk to. They're more than actors, they're human, they're friends. Then it started going into other conventions after getting into my first anime con. I've hit one year 13 conventions just a one year span and then after that I did 11 conventions and I did 10 conventions even this last year where I barely did any conventions I still did about eight or nine conventions I can tell you which conventions are fantastic Anime Next Fun Toronto Fan Expo fantastic this convention is sci-fi, horror, comics, anime and gaming they got five different subjects being covered in one convention try doing it all in the time span that you're given it's not easy but if you find what you're there for you can do it different lifestyles at the conventions definitely show through I've been a part of uh, most of them there's the shopping which I was more into when I was a kid the dealer room. I used to collect most of my turtle magazines from convention dealer rooms then there's the mascots the costumers the people going around cosplaying those people have their own lifestyle where they have to pick their own costumes for each day, which one's going to do the contest, if they're going to write up a skit, if there's going to be more than one people in their skit, when is their photograph times for that cosplay group that they're part of, 
Then there's the panel goers. This is where I'm at right now. Since I got injured in 2004, I find myself enjoying the panel rooms. I'm able to sit in there, hear the different stories of how these actors got their jobs, of where the animators get their inspirations from, where the directors and the writers come up with their ideas and how they get them onto the screen. Everything is found out through panel rooms. This is the kind of things that I enjoy about conventions. I enjoy learning about the entertainment world because I personally would love to be involved in the entertainment world. Another type of person goes is the celebrity collector, the people who like to go just to be able to meet the celebs. They are, they have a certain one that they go to see. Sometimes this is a great thing because they're friends. There's other times where it's a little creepy. I met one model who was having a major issue because there was somebody who was going to the same concert she was at that was scaring her other customers away. That's when it gets bad. Though there's a lot of us out there who have made friends with the guests and we like to go to the conventions to see our friends. And that's where I stand a lot of the times. I'm friends with Mike Sincher Nicholas. I really enjoy getting to talk with him. I try to make sure everybody else gets their time with him. So if I see him talking with people, I try not to interrupt. And if I have somebody with me who's never met him before, I'll let them do more talking than I will, just so they have a chance to say they got to know him as well. Now, making friends with guests is easy at events, because you get to see them around, you get to talk to them, and it's important to know that you can get to know them as the humans that they are, instead of just seeing them as the actors that they are. Acting is a job, it's not who they are all the time. At this time, my favorite convention is New York City Comic Con. This convention has fantastic panels, has a lot of great guests, has a lot of good friends, and even outside of the convention itself, I can go to Central Park or Ray's Pizza or Times Square and just have a good time outside of the event. Another favorite convention is Yomacon. It's a local convention to me. Uh, they usually have good guests. A lot of them are turtle related, so I'll get to see Wayne Grayson there. Um, I've got to meet Matt Hill there, and Mike Central Nicholas has been there a few times. So there's always someone interesting for a turtle, a turtle fan in me, and also the anime fan in me, because I like seeing Vic Mignogna and Caitlin Glass. There's so many awesome people in the voice acting community that it's a lot of fun for a convention, because they always have a wide variety of guests. One of the things I really enjoy doing is writing reviews about the conventions. I post them on TMTL forums. I have reviews of Anime Next, Toronto Fan Expo, New York City Comic Con, Anime North, Anime Vegas. I can go on with a list of different conventions, including one named Another Anime Con, where I got to meet Cam Clark. I will be always making sure that there's updates of the different conventions I go to, and I even have an area there where I post the upcoming conventions, who the guests are that Ninja Turtles related, and which fans are going. This way, we can meet up and do actual activities as a group, instead of just bumping into each other there, or even missing out on the event totally. I'll be doing a lot more reviews of conventions, of videos, pictures, and stories, showing the things that's happened, the guests that showed up, how many different friends we've met up with, and just all the great experiences that come from these different cons. Do you go to conventions? Do you have a favorite one? Do you like going to the dealer rooms, panels, autograph sessions? What's your favorite thing about a convention? If you do go to conventions, please do a blog. Tell us what you think of conventions. Be general about it, of the different ones that you've been to, and post it as a reply to Cowabunga Corner. In the next episode of Cowabunga Corner, we'll be covering animation cells from the original cartoon series. Until then, see you next week. Blaming arrow under the sky